Hey guys, it's Justin Boyce, Digital Dimensions, and today we're on site measuring a stone countertop. Today we're going to be doing a 3CM Caesar Stone quartz counter, and uh, got the ProLiner set up, and we're going to run you through this. This time we won't uh, do a time lapse fast forward of the actual templating. I'll do that in real time, so this video will be a little bit longer. It'll give you a good idea of the actual time it takes to template with the ProLiner. All right, all right, we're just going to turn the ProLiner on and get this going. There we go, set it up where we want to set it up, and I will set the camera up where we can get a good vision, uh, view of all this, and uh, we'll catch up with you after this. So we've done with the templating part with the pro liner. Now critical part is to double check your drawing. So on the pro liner, you can check a few dimensions and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check uh, about three, four critical dimensions. That will verify the template. Then I know it's great and just helps me sleep better at night. So we'll do that right now.
Okay, so we verified the dimensions on the template. The template is good, that's great. I always do that, that's good practice. That makes sure I know the template is verified and good to go, and when I'm working on it in AutoCAD, I do not need to question anything in regards to what's pulled up with the DXF file. The last step we did was checking for level, and uh, that's very important. If cabinets are level, we need to notify the shop and we need to notify the site super in this situation, and that way they can bring in their cabinet guys, get that fixed up before the new counters come. Okay guys, I've gone and uploaded uh, the drawings, the DXF files from the ProLiner to my laptop and I'm ready to work on them in AutoCAD. Um, today, I'm really busy. I've got to go to a bunch of sites, so I'm not going to complete the drawings 100%, but I am going to put them up in AutoCAD, make sure they are all good, and I'm going to save them under the appropriate file name so when I get back to the office, there's no confusion. I know what to work on and I do not need to question anything. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you want to go back um, and see a previous video that kind of explains the AutoCAD drawing process, um, watch one of the previous videos. Other than that, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. There'll be more. Thanks for watching.